Hi there, Rob Anderson here. I uh, just came to do another quick video for you. Today I'm going to work or show you how to work with Traffic Travis. It's a free keyword or, or, or tool available that does all sorts of things for you. You can see keywords, search engine tools, PPC analysis, page analysis, all sorts of things. I'm not going to go through uh, how you can download it and where you can get it. Uh, I'll probably in one of the posts or, or the PDFs put a link where you can go to get it but quite simply I've got to presume you know how to go and download and install although it's fairly easy point and click and you've got Travis tra Traffic Travis installed. Okay today I'm going to start straight with Keyword Finder. So you go to the Keyword Tool section hit Keyword Finder now I've got the free version of Traffic Travers and so it limits me to fetching only 200 keywords. Uh, if you are a serious pay-per-click type of a marketer you're going to need a lot more and you need to get the upgraded version of it. Right, uh, to stick to the theme that I've been using let me just simply enter hammocks. Incidentally I'm a South African and I use keyword searching tools a lot. Uh, this unfortunately with Traffic Travis it's, it doesn't do specific areas. However it does do a, a lot more that you can't get from the Google T keyword tool so it's still on the keyword finder section it's still fantastic. Right you hit fetch keywords and it will render. Now what it's doing is like any good keyword research tool, it's going to find the keywords or the top 200 keywords in relation to my keyword term search hammocks. Uh, the results here on this on the traffic Travis is a daily count and it shows Google, Yahoo, Bing and the combined daily total of all of those words. Okay for some reason it seems to t be taking very long to collect all of those 200 keywords but for now I don't need to worry I can carry on telling you what you need to hear or see. Um, essentially with keyword research it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking to target a brand new and quick and easy keyword term that to turn that into a business or a website or a domain you want to buy so let's say you want to go out and buy uh, hammockstands.cozo.net Obviously, if it was available, you would then know you're targeting 602 or 850 uh, exact searches a day, which is great, but very, very competitive. Now, here's the thing. If you're looking to just get keyword terms so that you can use it for posts, for articles, uh, and for that sort of thing, and for optimizing your, your images, that's a different story altogether. So you would then go down to, to things that... Google respects as keyword terms. So you know that they're looking up hammock stands so it's perfectly alright to have a hammock stands page on your hammock business website. Um, what's happening is, is that you're getting those links or the respect through that. However, if you want to target a keyword that a keyword that is going to be that you need to actually appear on page one to be honest, you've got to go down to somewhere in the region of about, oh, here we go, I did a quick sum, 1,500 a month. So, uh, you're looking at about 50 a day. So, anywhere from these down, here, two person hammock swimming, swing, a rat hammock, okay, as they wish, pet hammocks, green, green eggs and hammocks, dog hammock, each of these from here on get searched for a lot less and there's a hard chance that you would get uh, whatever the word is found uh, on, on the search engine results on the SERPs pages on Google if somebody looked up blue hammocks you could make probably fairly easily get ranked for blue hammocks if you do posts and pages and things or if you blown own the, the domain bluehammocks.com uh, you'll have a fair chance of of ranking with that. So the point is is that your keywords need to have come from this and it would depend on whether you're looking for buying keywords, keywords for your domains um, and each of those uh, affect differently. 
um, a buying keyword would be more competitive let me find you one there buy hammocks now buy hammocks uh, it's about a thousand eight hundred exacts a month which is pretty cool um, if you would be lucky enough to find buyhammocks.com there's a high chance that with a bit of an effort, uh, 10, 15, 20 pages and, and 150 backlinks, that you can put the, the keywords by hammocks.com as a website up on page one and, and get those 1,800 searches and hits a month, which will be great because you would then obviously have, um, then the problem after that would come to how to monetize and, and where to redirect those people to. Now, hammocks on sale, is going to attract cheaper hammock seekers so you would need to give a bit of thought on that okay that's pretty much it for now while I'm here let me just say that if I were doing let's go for an example say I already have my hammock website which I do have let's say my design Smith Coza site so I would want to have some keywords that I know that would give me power uh, with with and, and possible traffic so I'd start let's say not on the 50s say round about here and I would choose words that could work for my business and now presuming let's say it's for the existing website so I need keywords for posts I need keywords for images I need keywords for pages possibly keywords that would have be in articles that would then redirect back to my site so that kind of thing so I would what I would do now with the traffic Travis tool is I click on the ones that I like as keywords oh sorry so move to saved so click on it, move to saved. Hammocks chair is perfectly good for me. Hammocks with stand would be okay. Uh, hammocks beach, well, uh, I don't know if I sell beach hammocks, but I can redirect the traffic. Uh, so I would do that. Hammocks chairs, indoor hammocks. These all become potentially great keywords. And I've got to keep an eye on this that I'm not uh, going too low with with hammocks that that oh sorry with keywords that aren't gonna bring me I, I've got no idea what green eggs and hammocks some some guy must have optimized it and it's a known name brand that kind of thing so hanging hammocks these are all ones that if the pages were correctly done and backlink correctly and 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 there's a high chance that I would be able to easily get um, traffic via that. So go on the swing hammocks, parachute hammocks. Makes you wonder if they ever jump out of an aeroplane with a parachute hammock, you'd have to be a true bonehead. Okay, enough for now. I'd simply send, go across to this side and hit send to sorter. It takes me to the other side in the keyword tool sides, keyword sorter, and I would then sort them if you've got hundreds you would take some of them out you'd, you'd remove um, duplicate ones I think there yeah remove duplicate phrases um, you could sort them in any what form and then you would save them uh, so say import from file uh, and then you hit do it and it will save it and you would load it some which way and how in your system right simple as that it's enough for now um, that uh, is, is the keyword finder side of Traffic Travers. I will come back and uh, produce some more uh, videos for these other categories and possibly even have them ready for you fairly soon. Thank you.